U.S. Central Command says American forces using B-1 bombers and other aircraft hit more than 85 targets across seven different locations. Cars and buildings heavily damaged after U.S. strikes on pro-Iran targets in al Qaim, Iraq, northwest of Baghdad. Before and after satellite images show some of the destruction in Syria and northern Iraq. In a statement, U.S. Central Command said the targets included command and control operations centers, rockets, missiles, and drone storage facilities that belong to militant groups and Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. We believe that the strikes were successful. Officials say the barrage has damaged the capabilities of some of the Iranian-backed militias, hitting targets that they say are connected to attacks on U.S. forces in the region. These strikes coming in response to a drone attack that killed three U.S. service members at Tower 22, an outpost in northeastern Jordan on January 28th. President Biden saying the United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world, but, quote, let all those who might seek to do us harm know this. If you harm an American, we will respond. Iraq's armed forces releasing a statement saying the strikes are a violation of the country's sovereignty and that they threaten the security and stability across the region. A spokesman for one of the main Iranian-backed militias in Iraq hinted at possible de-escalation, telling the Associated Press every action elicits a reaction, but then struck a more conciliatory tone, saying we do not wish to escalate or widen regional tensions. Marcus Moore, ABC News, Amman, Jordan.